जानता तो हमेशा था मगर पता नहीं कि मैंने पहले कभी इस तरह सोचा नहीं था कि मैं हिंदुस्तानी हूँ Technology 
changing the gear now in terms of crossing all borders, in terms of information available, the way you think, the speed at which you think, the speed at which you respond, the, the focus with which you, you, you succeed. Okay, Apple, I think, is one of the best examples of a focused company. Focused on its consumer, focused on its technology, focused on its offerings. Then it can be as big as it wants to be. So I don't think at this stage, disruptive is now a new management style. It is actually built into your DNA. Because actually what does disruptive mean? You're constantly querying the constant. You have to figure out what that interval of constant review is. For some people it could be a week, for some people it could be a month, for some people it could be a year. But I think that's something you have to figure out depending on the position of influence you are in, whether you're running your own business or part of a company, whether it fits into the core of the company. But by and large, disruptive is really questioning the constant. So, baby, Kosla, Kosla, everything, each and every movie, Ram Devas, Ram Devas. Now, they are movies with punk. What I mean is, uh, Hollywood fanatics, Indian Hollywood fanatics, if they were to watch a Bollywood movie, most probably it would have something to do with you. Uh, is that intentional? And if yes, how do you make it materialize? Well, I think when we started off, uh, and we entered the movie industry not more than seven years back, and next year the, the, the Hindi film industry, I think, uh, completes 100 years. So I think we're really the kids on the block. Uh, and I think that was part of the process that you asked me the question earlier on on disruptive thinking. Here we had large, iconic movie directors and producers, family-run institutions, very strong, positive, good, incestuous relationships, and I mean that in a, in a, in a strong sense. Uh, between the actors and the directors. And here was somebody coming out there and saying, how do I go about it? And to us, the disruptive thought process was, there's a core audience of young India that is actually now fading and waning in what they think they want to watch for content. And outside of the family dramas that is the staple of Indian cinema, there has to be a different narrative. And I think that was our, one of our first findings. And our second finding was that most of the people used to come in because the way people marketed their movies was star-related. Who was in it. It didn't make a difference what the movie was, maybe you didn't get it. The trailer didn't have to communicate to you uh, what the storyline was, as long as you were going for your star. If we could change those two axes without taking away from the fact that the stars are very much a part and parcel of a movie, that was our disruptive thinking. And from that came around the lesson, that there was a narrative which could easily have gone wrong. It could have easily been three years before its time, a movie like that, easily because of the simple reason that here, if you look at the ingredients, there was no female hero. There was no um, love story. You had all six men from that point of view. 30% of the movie was in flashback, talking about the Bhagat Singh era, which nobody in the younger generation cared about. Gandhi, yes, Bhagat Singh, no. And then finally, all of them died again. And we think all of these, it sounds like a disaster. Who the hell would want to go see a movie like that? So I think that takes as anything else that you do in entrepreneurship, a lot of guts and a lot of balls, and a good story. <laughs> so, so while we're still talking about cliches and careers, uh, I'll quote you, not all managers are great leaders. Just say the words out and you will know the difference. Okay. So, <laughs> if you were to hire one person from amongst us, yeah. hypothetical situation, yeah. would you be looking at a manager or a leader? I think everyone has to be a leader. I think everyone today has to be a leader because uh, that's the differentiating factor. I mean, there's no question about the fact that, I mean, I had an inane lecturer in my college days. The first time he came in there and he opened one chart and he says, today we're going to learn about management. <laughs> so then he flipped the chart and there was the word manage. He says, manage men. And then he started laughing at his own joke. That's when I decided I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> example that I gave, there's this line between saying I'm a professional manager and I'm an entrepreneur is, is narrowing tremendously. So you have to be self-motivated, you have to be proactive in everything that you're going to do. And that is against the grain of anything that is manager, because managers always reflects with great execution skills, mostly being on the field, but not the general. And I think for people are coming out of institutions such like these, we should only be looking at leaders.
Why do we see the same level of richness, the same uh, narratives, story concepts in TV? For, as far as TV series are concerned, we're still Westward looking. Be it uh, A House, The Lost, be it any of the popular TV series that we are used to see. Why don't we see the same level of creativity and uh, dynamism in the TV series? I think there is a, there is a fair amount of dynamism, but I, I get your point you're making. I'm not necessarily saying that I fully agree with your observation, but to answer your question specifically, that firstly, there is a fair amount of the that dynamic, dynamism and there's a fair amount of research. Today, if you see, for example, colors when they broke out, they, the research told them that people wanted to regress it, so they took a nine-year-old girl and made that the epitome of the, the central piece of the story, and from that came an entire channel. Today, actually, people are finding out that in television, people are looking for the feel-good factor. They actually now don't want this role, they don't want to regress this character, they don't want you to get out there. They want to feel good, they want to feel optimistic. So if you look at that, television is a phenomenal barometer of how the country is feeling and the pulse for that respect. But to answer your question specifically, I would say that in India, the television medium, as I started by saying, is a very mass media. When you refer to television, you're not referring to the, to the second line channels. You're referring to the top five or six networks, the general and cable channels. Now their mandate is to reach out to 400, 500 million people across 120 million households. When you're looking at that, and you're number one. Number two, only viewers in PNG are your biggest buyers, and they want to reach out to that same half a million people, because they want to sell more soaps, more toothpaste. Those are some of the key areas that you've got there sitting with those people. Then you have to look at the <clears throat> largest common denominator. Not the lowest common denominator, but the largest <laughs> common denominator. And that's how, for an evolved audience, you might find that, ah, this doesn't sound like, this sounds regressive, this sounds like, why can't I get good television? When the fragmentation happens, when actually you become genre specific, and when the consumer starts paying, in that context, you'll find that actually people will start making content for various people because that's what you want to do. And therefore, I believe that that segmentation may not happen in television in India. It may happen in broadband. It may happen for the content that's going on the tablet, if not the mobile phone. And there could be an entire new genre of content that will come because A, it will be paying, B, it will be technology, and second, actually the tablet is going to be the second TV household. Because for a lot of, of many of you all sitting in this room, you may have a two TV household, but 95%, it's a single TV household in the country. 